Creationists have long speculated about the Earth's environment before the global flood, conditions that may have contributed to the long human lifespans recorded in the Bible. Some hypothesized a pre-flood Earth atmosphere had higher oxygen levels and more significant atmospheric pressure than current conditions. This study is a combination of articles explaining the pre-flood world's atmosphere, the effect it had on aging and insects, and experiments conducted in hyperbaric chambers. Let us begin with the pre-flood world and aging. A new study from Tel Aviv University and the Shamir Medical Center in Israel shows that hyperbaric oxygen treatments in normal healthy adults can halt and even reverse the aging process of blood cells. In the aging process, telomere lengths shorten. Telomere are the end caps of chromosomes. Repeated hyperbaric oxygen therapy treatments have been found to induce regenerative effects in cell telomeres. Not only is this artificial atmosphere good for the body, it also seems to be wonderful for plants. At Keio University in Tokyo, Japan, Dr. Ki Mori placed a cherry tomato plant in a similar chamber where he filtered out ultraviolet light and increased the pressure so the plants could take in carbon dioxide faster. The results were astounding. In two years, his cherry tomato plant was 14 feet tall and had over 900 tomatoes that were baseball size. The plant went on to be over 45 feet tall and yielded around 15,000 tomatoes. This result may help explain why we see such large plants in the fossil record. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 that there was a firmament in the midst of the waters, that it divided the waters from the waters. Scientists today speculate what the firmament was, but one thing is for sure, the pre-flood world was different. Our current atmosphere contains about 21% oxygen, but what was the oxygen content before the flood? To find the answer, we look no further than fossilized amber. Air bubbles trapped in amber have revealed that air pressure could have reached as high as 50% more oxygen, as well as greater air pressure. But what effect would higher oxygen levels and greater air pressure have on humans? They would heal faster, have enhanced stamina, infections would be reduced, and overall they would have better health. Aquanauts, people who spend long spans of time underwater, have noticed increased hair growth after living one month deep under the ocean. But what effect would higher oxygen and greater air pressure have on insects? Did you know the size of an insect is proportional to the amount of oxygen in the air? That's right. The size of an insect is limited by the amount of oxygen available in the atmosphere. Insects do not breathe using lungs. They use tracheas. These are air tubes along an insect's abdomen. Bigger bugs would have larger tracheas, thus needing more oxygen and greater air pressure. But insects were not the only thing needing more oxygen and higher air pressure. Let us look for a moment at the largest bird on record, pterosaurs. There is one type of pterosaur that is quite large, in fact, over half the size of a Boeing 737, and that is Quetzalcoatlus. This particular bird had a wingspan of between 36 and 40 feet. To get a featherless creature of an almost 40-foot wingspan into stable flight would require more air pressure under its wings. In our living conditions with our air pressure, this bird simply would not be able to fly. The Smithsonian gave back in the 80s $700,000 in order to recreate, using an RC model airplane, how this bird could fly. Unfortunately, all their efforts literally crashed and burned. In October of 2006, Science Daily published a study led by Arizona State University 
title, Giant Insects Might Rain, If Only There Was More Oxygen in the Air. The article claims, The delicate ladybug in your garden could be frighteningly large if only there was a greater concentration of oxygen in the air, a new study concludes. The study adds support to the theory that some insects were much larger because they had a much richer oxygen supply. The research lends evidence to the fact that the pre-flood world was different than the one we live in today. Another study conducted in 2010 by researchers at, again, the Arizona State University, tested this more oxygen, bigger insects theory directly by raising 12 different types of insects in simulated atmospheres of various oxygen levels. The result? The experiment confirmed that dragonflies did indeed grow bigger with more oxygen.